at this dude. You guys already know what time it is. The best time of the day, of the week. Three times a week. <laughs> it's your male movie. It's your male movie. It's your male movie. Uh, Whoosh, everybody, welcome back to another video. Hey man, if you haven't already, then so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the post the game family, best family on YouTube. That is no cap, hands down. If you been rock with the family, you already know what's up. You already know what to do. Throw it in the comment section. You been rock with the family. If you're new to the family, Thank you for joining the family. You will not regret it. I put it on everything. And you let me, let me, let it be known in the comment section as well that you're new to the family so everybody can welcome you to this magnificent family. Hey man, look. Description down below has all my other YouTube channel links. Make sure you guys are subscribed to all channels. I do have a second reaction channel where I'm actually re-reacting to a lot of the older SML movies. So if you guys want to see that, Go subscribe, go subscribe to the other ones, and then go follow on my social media so you guys can keep up with me outside of this YouTube channel. <laughs> hey man, let's get this video to 1.5 thousand likes. We gonna keep it nice and simple. Hit it with your right index finger. Very simple, very easy. Let me be, let it, I keep saying let me be known. <laughs> like let it, not me. Let it be known in the comments that you were able to make that happen. <laughs> hey man, we are here for SML Movie, The Acorn. Gonna do less talking, more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let go. <laughs> the police apartment. One department I don't like going to. Officer Simmons, Officer Guy, get in here. What's up, sir? I'd like you two boys to meet Enrique. Enrique, huh? Enrique. Hola, amigo. Can we see El Green Cardo? Yeah. Why'd you just automatically assume he was Mexican? <laughs> Show me some papers. No, 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 boys. He's Puerto Rican. Oh, so he's one of us. Barely. Welcome Barely. to the United States, buddy. He was born in Alabama. His parents were born in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I can speak English. Oh, how incredibly racist of us. Ex you think? Exactly, and I need you two boys to knock that off for today. Enrique here is from the show Cops. He's going to be following you around recording everything you do today. Oh, no, sir. Me and Simmons don't play by the book. Yeah, we say bad stuff in the car all the time. Well, today <laughs> you... At least they're honest. No, I want you two on your best behavior because the whole world's watching. Uh -oh. Oh. Can we still say bad stuff if it's in a rap song? No! <laughs> oh man, I guess no pun. Just because it's in a rap song doesn't give me the green light to just say whatever. A West people in Paris. We mostly just like to say the title of the song, specifically the first word. Oh, I'm sure, huh? I'm sure you love that word, Brick and Guy. Okay, come on, Eric. My name's Enrique. Nobody from Alabama is named Enrique. Hey there, I'm Officer Brooklyn Guy. This is my partner Simmons. Hello, I'm on TV. And we're definitely not racist. TV, I'm on. Um... Yeah, we like to patrol this neighborhood a lot of crazy stuff happens around here things you wouldn't believe oh look at that a nice man taking out the trash hey there oh he got a ski mask on no face no case even though he's standing right over a dead body in a trash bag yeah that's not suspicious whatsoever and yes i do have a ski mask on yeah see not everybody in this neighborhood's bad i think we should look out for some real crime oh look at that simmons an african-american man jogging now he might be just going for a daily jog but he might be running away because he just did a crime i don't think a little they go ahead and drive by a crime and just because they wasn't black no reason to stop him you gotta a black individual on a nice little jog, caring about his health and fitness. Stopping for a second. Oh, we gotta pull him over, okay. Oh, hi guys, I'm Charlie. <laughs> and today, I'm going on my daily jog. <laughs> you about to get shot out by the police, my boy. Excuse me, sir, stop right there. Oh, uh, what seems to be the problem, officers? We're gonna need to stop and frisk you, hands on your head. But why? You see the neighborhood you're in? I know, it's nice, right? Yeah, a little too nice. Uh -oh. You got anything in your pockets? Uh, what, what, what is this? Oh, it's a little grass, weeds, leaves, you know, I love nature. I heard weed, all right, you're under arrest. What? Find you back. <laughs> Come on. In you go. <laughs> Uh, wow. Officer, could you loosen my cuffs? I, I can't feel my wrist. And there you go. Another criminal off the streets. Because that's what we do here. Protect and serve. No. And you wonder why I don't... 
with no police. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cops. Oh, look at that. It's our friend from earlier. Wow. He's got a ladder. He's probably going to go change a light bulb somewhere. See, we yeah. need more good Samaritans like that in this community. Uh-oh. Well, let's get back to the station. What's the gunshot? Shot fired! Shot fired! Shot fired! Oh my gosh, Brooklyn guy, you are you are looking at a, not only just a lawsuit, but you you going to prison for a very very long time. This is about to be a worldwide riot, bro. Man, breaking news, okay? Two police officers. Yes, this actually happened in real life. Shot an unarmed black man while he was handcuffed and in the back of a cop car when an acorn fell from a tree, hit the top of the car, and made the officers think that they were being shot at by the guy they had just arrested and put in handcuffs. Wait, this actually happened in real life? For real? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but for real? A goddamn acorn guy? You couldn't tell the difference between a gunshot and a fucking acorn? Take his badge away and lock him up. It, it was a very loud acorn, sir. But it was still an acorn! Listen, sir, you weren't there! It was the biggest acorn I've ever heard. It, it was like this big, my boy. It'd be like the size of a baseball. I'm pretty sure it dented the roof of my car. You know that acorn that Scrat from Ice Age is always going after? It was like that. You shot at a man 27 times. I helped! And that's the part I don't understand, Simmons. Why did you start shooting? Because I saw Oh, Brooklyn stopped shooting, and I thought he was obviously shooting him for some reason, so then I started shooting. And if wow. you jumped off a bridge, would you do that too? Well, it depends. Do we get to shoot someone after? <sighs> this is not a good... They should not be police officers. I think it's time to go ahead and just once again take their badge lock them up. Good look, boys. People already think cops are racist. Wait, sir, are, are we not supposed to be racist? No! No, my boy. Oh, are you sure? Because I think that was like one of the first things in the handbook. We got a new handbook! Okay, well, nobody told me. So, it was once in an old hand uh, handbook? For real? So, uh, how was how how the black man doing? Well, luckily, he survived because somehow not- 27 bullets? He survived? One of those 27 bullets you shot at him hit him. Oh, good. Luckily, I have the aim of a stormtrooper. So, uh, since he didn't die, are, are we good? Is everybody good? No. no. we're most certainly not good. Now he's suing the department, and he wants you fired. What? Me? Fired? But I'm- What do you think was gonna happen, Brooklyn guy? You was just gonna go home? The shit, sir. Everybody loves me. Listen, guy, I don't want to have to let you go as an officer, but it's not up to me. It's Take up to the judge. Dad. Usually we can just sweep things under the rug, but this one was on national television. So go see the judge. Okay, everybody wish me luck. I don't wish you luck, my boy. You, 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 you got to get locked up. Mm-hmm. Actually, why don't you get 27 bullets shot at you and see how you feel? Good luck, Mike. Good luck, Mike. Order, order, order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer. And today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is being accused of shooting at a black man 27 times because he thought the sound of an acorn hitting the roof of his car was actually the man he just attained shooting at him. Yes, yeah, not had enough Can business. you please explain what happened? Well, I was going on my daily jog, and then I got... <laughs> I... His beanie says, Fet's luck, and I literally <laughs> read, let's fuck. Randomly searched, like always. Then the cops arrested me and put me into their car car, and then bullets start randomly flying to the window going crazy, man. It was crazy. <laughs> but I could have died. So, let me get this... He went from smiling to... I could have died. Straight. You did not have a gun in your possession. Nope. nope. No gun. And my hands were handcuffed and behind my back. I see. So, Mr. Guy, please tell me how you thought the sound of an acorn hitting your car was you getting shot at. Well, you see, Your Honor, acorns and bullets are basically the same size. So when the acorn hit the top of my cop car, it sounded like a gun going bang. And then when I saw the acorn bouncing away, it looked like a bullet shell bouncing. It's an honest mistake, really. No. An honest mistake that should cost you your badge and some time in prison. No way in hell does an acorn sound like a gunshot. Oh, how do you know? You haven't heard it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I want you to turn around and I'll shoot a gun and drop an acorn and you tell me which one is which. Okay, but this is going to be really hard. They sound the same. Okay, which one is this? Oh, that that is definitely an acorn. Okay, now how about this? There's a shooter in the courtroom! Everybody down! Where is that bastard? All right, I've heard enough. Cle heard enough? I've seen enough. Lock him up. Really, you have bad hearing and someone with bad hearing should not be a police officer that part i hereby strip you of your badge and order that you are never to be a police officer ever again no please. okay how about my boy charlie how much does he get from the city is your honor i love 
being a cop. Well, nah. What about Simmons? He shot too. He only shot because he saw you shoot. This is all your fault. Now hand over your badge. Go on, hand it over. Oh, okay. Marvin, Marvin, did you see? He's lucky. That's all that happened, my boy. See the news about the cop who shot at a guy over an acorn? Yeah, I just watched the cops episode. That cop is such an idiot. Yeah, what a bozo. Hey, I'm not a bozo. Baby, look, it's the acorn shooter. Acorn shooter? Is that what they're calling me now? That was you? Dead. You a piece of shit! Autograph? I don't know, I just feel bad about this whole thing. Okay. Do you want that from Acorn Shooter or a piece of shit? Both. Okay, Acorn Shooter. Can you make that out to my niece? What's her name? Lucy. To Lucy. Watch out for those acorns. Acorn Shooter, piece of shit. Hey, can we get a picture together? Okay. Say cheese. Wow, Brooklyn guy's getting some fame out of this. Oh, you don't make this even better? Hold on. <laughs> oh, say Acorn! Acorn! I think it's getting to his head now. But like I was saying, I just feel so bad about this whole thing. I feel Do you feel bad, actually? Well, I don't understand how you mistook a acorn hitting your car for a gunshot. Hey, it was a really loud acorn, okay? It must have fallen from like 35,000 feet. I thought it was a meteor slamming into the earth like boom. Like, I thought it was a cannon from a pirate ship. Yeah, go get your hair and check my butt. Shooting at me. I thought I was shooting at Captain Hook. Well, listen, I, I don't know what kind of punishment you got, but you deserved it. Well, they fired me. I'm not allowed to be a cop anymore. You lucky that's all they did. Well, that's for the best. Well, tell me something bad about you. Well, every time I pee, it dribbles a little bit in my pants. Ha ha, pee pants. Maybe you shouldn't have to wear pants anymore, huh? How about that? Maybe that's for the best. It's not maybe the same maybe thing. Maybe it's your fault that your penis leaks. How about that? Listen, you shot at a guy over an acorn sound. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds worse. Yeah, so... I just want to be a cop again. Well, then you don't need to be a cop. You're a doctor and a firefighter and a pilot. Yeah, but I want to be a cop. I had so much power. I could do anything I wanted. Well, go be a mall cop. Marvin, I don't weigh 400 pounds. I don't own a Segway. They're not going to let me do that. Well, then give up on being a cop and then focus on your other jobs. Yeah, no. I was about to just say, you got like a billion other jobs. You good? I want to be a cop. And I have a plan. What is it? Okay, so maybe if I do something really good, people will forget about the bad thing I did. So I need you to strap a fake bomb to your chest and then get on an American Airlines flight, and then halfway, I need you to stand up and say, I'm gonna Oh, so now you're just trying to destroy Marvin's life at this point. <laughs> oh, up this plane, and then I'm gonna say, Oh, no, you're not, and then I'm gonna tackle you and say, You're not gonna do another 9 11 on my watch, buddy, and then I'll be a hero and then make me a cop again. But then I would go to jail for the rest of my life that at the part. Bay. Yeah, but I'll come visit you. I'm a cop. Uh, that's gonna be a hard pass, my boy. I'm not doing that. Oh, that part. Come on, Marvin, I do it for you. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you're right, but come on, please. No, think of something else. <sighs> okay, well, I'm a pilot, so maybe I could fly through a bunch of birds and then land my plane in the Hudson River. But where would I find the birds? I'd have to fly around for a while and hope I ran into some birds. Low, in New York. That's not gonna work. Man, he got really lucky. I bet he gets sucked off all the time, whenever he wants. I want Tom Hanks to play me in a movie. Well, then do something good. We, we gotta do the bomb thing. Tom Hanks would love that. No, we're not doing the bomb thing. Think of, look, there's gotta be something else in the world that's really good that would make your name look good. I don't know. Just saving a plane is like the peak American hero thing to do. <gasps> oh, look, the news! What? The news, okay? A murder on the loose. Known as the trash bag strangler, who goes around strangling women and putting their bodies in trash bags, has claimed another victim, taking the- Wow, Brooklyn guy, look, you're the one that got- uh, let the, uh, uh, suspect take off. And he- he looked extremely suspicious with that ski mask on, my boy. Death toll up to 19. Police are 19. urging women not to go outside, and if you see a man in all black, he's probably gonna strangle you and put you in a trash bag. Marvin, I never want to go outside again! I have a plan. What? What if Rose goes outside with a trash bag, and whenever that guy shows up to kill her and put her in the bag, I shoot him in the head. And then I'm a hero. And then they'll make me a cop again. So and we're gonna use Rose as bait. I'll eat a toaster strudel, and then I'll be happy. And I'll do my happy dance. What if you I'm miss and dance. then shoot me instead? I never miss. You missed today shooting at a guy sitting yeah. in a cop car, handcuffed, and you were a foot away from him. Yeah, and it's a good thing I missed too, because otherwise I would have killed an innocent man. But you were trying to kill him. I was trying to, but I didn't, and that makes it okay. Look, I'm not going to miss this time. <laughs> There's nothing okay about that, my boy. You lucky you missed. Gross. Okay, I'm gonna stay inside in the nice warm house where it's safe with my gun, and you stand out here in the cold with that trash bag until the scary strangler shows up and starts strangling you. Then, when he starts strangling you, I'm gonna open the door and shoot him in the head. Wait, why are you waiting for him to strangle me to shoot him? Shoot him when he walks up! Well, I gotta make sure it's the strangler before I shoot him. I gotta catch him in the act! I don't wanna be strangled! Have fun! Have fun! Uh, I'm alone! I'm just a girl alone holding a trash bag! <laughs> I'm gonna strangle you! <laughs> John, Jake, 
Rico, Jingle Heimer Schmidt. Brooklyn guy, you had one job and one job only. Come on, bro. His name is my name too. How is his name my name too? Is my name John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt? Because that's not my name. Is it that common of a name? Bro. A weird song. Why am I singing it? Oh, oh shit, I forgot. Oh, yeah, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm here. I got him. Just hold on. But, um, oh, damn, this is hard. Hold, hold still. Uh, ah, damn, I missed. I can't stop choking her. Let me get him. Don't, don't worry. Oh, bro, God. you are two inches from his head, bro. Hold on. Yeah, I can too. Maybe it's a Oh, come on! Okay. You weren't even a centimeter from his head. Okay, what, what would Alec Baldwin do? This is a prop gun. Oh, okay, I got him. I saved you. All right. Now Barely. Judge. Well, Mr. Guy, you did it. You did something so good it overpowered all the bad you've done in the past. I hereby order you to be allowed to be a cop again. No. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, feeling, poor baby? Rose. Hey, everybody, guess what? I'm a cop again, and it's all thanks to you, Rose. <laughs> you piece of shit. Yeah, that part. I know. I took a really long time to shoot him, but hey, I got my aim back. That that was the point of this video, right? To get my aim back? That that That's what it was about. You did not, not get your aim back. Aim. That's it? That's the only thing that was wrong with me? Just the aim thing? Bro, you need to go back to training. I'm surprised they gave you back your badge, bruh. What is the stupidest thing you've ever done? Oh, yeah, we will not talk about that. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life that I'm not really proud of. But we're just gonna leave it in the past, bro. But you guys are more than welcome to leave a comment down below the stu stupidest thing you've ever done. So I'll definitely read through the comments. <laughs> Hey, man, if y'all made it to the end, I greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Click that bell while you're at it. Until next time, I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm out.